The thing that y'all are not understanding is that being a fat person is legitimately traumatizing. Not like internet, oh, this is traumatizing. It, traumatizing as in, I this year was diagnosed with CPTSD, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, as a result of growing up as a fat person and the trauma that comes with that. There is legitimate trauma that comes with growing up as a child and believing that your entire value is tied into your body. I often blame when it comes to problems like this on the parents because when you're a kid and or a children, you can't really do anything about this. Like it, it is what it is. Like you are fundamentally what your parents bestow upon you. So when I see people that are struggling with mental issues later on in life because of things that happened to them when they were children, I always think sometimes parents fuck up and sometimes it's not their fault but when it comes to childhood obesity it's like all on the parents dude and it's not a flex to have a kid that is literally all fat i don't know why i see so many people nowadays talking about oh my god my kid is so cute my kid looks so you know like so 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 sweet so cute and i'm looking at this kid like this 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 kid is 50 pounds over what it should be and like you you're flexing this as if it's a good thing it's not that's an obese child and I know and you know that when you're an obese child, you're obese for the rest of your life. There's no doubt about it. That is very hard to break out of because you just, if you grow up thinking that's okay, why wouldn't you think it's okay for the rest of your life? It's just normal for you, okay? So it takes like a lot of deliberate work, it takes a lot of acknowledgement to understanding. And oftentimes, like if you tell a child like, oh, there's something wrong with your body, that doesn't even mean anything to them. Like they're looking at that and they're going like, what is wrong with me? Like, how do I fix that? They can't, there's nothing they can do literally it's up to the parents so it really really sucks when i see parents like saying stuff like that where they go like oh there's something wrong with your body or you you're fat or you're this and you're that i always think like why are you telling the kid that that's oh that's like irrelevant information to them it literally doesn't benefit them at all you know it, it'd be like telling a rock that's not moving like the rock doesn't know what to do it's it, there's nothing there you have to do it for them that no one will love you because you're fat and that you will not have any love any success any friends because you are fat so you, you will have love and friends and all those other things when you're fat. The problem is like you're severely reducing a lot of those things because for one, <clears throat> if we're talking about friends, a lot of friends want to do stuff. Well, maybe it just depends on what your genre of friend is, right? Because like a lot of people nowadays that count friends as just guys that light up on Discord and then they hit up because a lot of people, even if they live in the same city or even the same like town, don't even meet up with each other. And I'm guilty of this too. I have friends that I've been friends with for 10, 10, 15 years. And some of them I haven't even seen in like a year or two years at this point. And we live in the same town. We live in the same area. We can easily see each other, but we just don't find time to do that because it's more convenient to talk to each other on Discord or another app, which is really, really sad. You know, the internet in a lot of ways brings us together, right? Like I'm able to talk to you and I'm able to communicate to you, which is very, very beautiful. We can listen to music. We can do all this other stuff, right? It's really, really great. But in a lot of ways, it like disassociates people from communicating with each other in real life because why would I need to communicate with you in real life when I can just communicate with you on Discord or in a video game or on another app that other people use? Like there's a lot of value, but a lot of people need to understand that it's not always about the value. It's about like the other stuff too. So it's not that your friends, like you won't get friends if you're fat. It's just like a lot of your friends might disqualify you from doing stuff because you're just not eligible to do that. Like, oh, hey, me and Sarah are going to go like take a hike, but you can't because you're literally fat and it would be like not possible for you. Or even, hey, we're going to like surf this mall for like three hours, just walking around, looking through the stores. We're going to look through stuff that we might or might not want to buy. Can't take you. You're fat. You're big backed. So a lot of that stuff is... 100% um, gonna affect you. And then also when it comes to finding dates and relationships, yeah, most people in general, that's not even something strictly towards men. Most people in general are not down to have sex or be with relationship wise with fat people. It's just not it, okay? And especially if you're obese, you're in a different category altogether. Society literally treats fat people as if we are worthless. Like, like I don't- It's not that fat people are worthless. It's just you have to understand what human beings are doing in our society and then understand that you are outside that normative value. So like most human beings are working. Most people, most human beings are contributing something to society. And I'm not saying fat people can't do that. Like, sure, you guys can do work that may not require you to be physical. But even in those places where you're not being physical, it still requires you to work for long periods of time. And maybe that's not practical for you. Maybe you just can't do that. Or 
Maybe it's not, maybe if you need a job in general, like I know a lot of people that are in the 300 pounds and they just can't stand up for more than 10, 15, 20 minutes at a time. It's just not possible for them. And working for long periods of time are, is also not, is not equipped for them as well. So it's not that you guys don't have these opportunities. It's just, you need to understand that you're going, you're, you're actively making yourselves worse for society. And then also, yes, you're over consuming tons and tons of food, like all the time. So when I see people of this size, like how many calories am I eating a day? maybe 25, 2,200 to 2,500 calories a day, which is about average. I see people like this eating double, even triple that a day. And it's very easy to consume that amount of calories. Literally go to Dunkin' Donuts and you can find some drinks that are four, five, six, seven hundred calories and you can drink those like that. I literally know dudes that spin the block on Dunkin' Donuts that get like Frappuccinos, dust them down and by the time they left the drive-thru, they're gone. They're making another spin around the block just to get that second Frappuccino because it's just convenient like that. And they're only like four, five, six bucks, which is actually a lot of money for a Frappuccino. But you know what I'm saying? So it's very easy to maintain these weights for a lot of these people. It may seem like really, really crazy, but it's really, really easy. You are fat. So I also want to point out that I think this is Marissa Matthews right here. Marissa Matthews reposted this. I'm going to let you know right now, if any, if, Mr. If, if Marissa Matthews reposts anything, you should not look at that as a dub. That right there is a key that what you just said was crazy, if that makes any sense. By the way, none of these people would communicate with Mar Mar with Marissa Matthews. Mar Marissa Matthews is like so far out of the realm of normality when it comes to these people's organizations. It's actually kind of crazy. Because you're fat and that you will not have any love, any success, any friends because you are fat. Society literally treats fat people as if we are worthless. Like, like I don't know how y'all think that that shit is not gonna fuck people up. Like, it just, it does it messes with your head but it's the reality of the situation like you have to literally contour your entire life around this very particular set this very particular body size that you're at and you don't think that's gonna like change things up now i know that when you're a child like i said it's not like possible for a lot of people to determine their their family right but this is one of the reasons why i hate so much of like society is that so much of our value is determined by things that we have no control over. So like, for instance, the place you grew up, the family, the family size that you grew up in, the social structure that you grew up in, whether or not you have two people in the household, whether or not those people, those two people are working, maybe they had good work ethic, maybe they didn't have good work ethic, maybe they told you that it wasn't okay to go to school. Maybe it's just like, there's so many things that determine your worth as a human being that you have absolutely no control over. And when I see people going through that stuff, right, as adults and going like, oh, my family was totally okay with me being fat. Or a lot of times what I hear is they were okay with me being fat, but sometimes they would try to put me on diets or they would try to say that my body wasn't right or I, I couldn't do something about my certain size and things like that. That's all really fucked up because it's not like in those particular scenarios, it's it's both things that they could change and things that they couldn't change in the sense of like their parents could have very easily said, this is not a good thing for my daughter to be... 150 pounds at seven years old like it's not a good thing and it could have easily been adjusted it could have been but it just wasn't and that sucks and i'm not saying that it was or was not your parents fault objectively and in, in the sense of like maybe they weren't purposefully pursuing it and maybe they just passively looked by it as if it wasn't like a problem but it is a problem right they should have looked at it more they should have paid more attention to you and that sucks maybe they had something else going on in their lives that they, they, they had to address but it just like, it hurts me deeply when I hear people that could have been like multi gajillionaires if they were put in the right circumstance, but because they just weren't, they end up like this and they complain about, oh, my, my family just didn't, you know, they didn't incentivize weight loss. And she's looking at it as a bad thing. Like, you know, they, they told her that <clears throat> her size was bad, which is a good, I mean, which is a bad thing. They should have told her that. But as an adult, she should be understanding this and trying to deconstruct it as much as she can. Like, I, it's crazy because the amount of hate that I receive for being a fat person, like, if you guys- if You're not getting- Okay, first of all, let's just be honest for a second. You're not getting hate for being a fat person. This is a very interesting realm that she's in. She's getting hate for being a fat person because she's on the internet. If she wasn't on the internet, she wouldn't be getting hate from, from being a fat person. Like, maybe out in the world, somebody's gonna walk by and be like, damn, that's a big back bitch, right? Whatever. Maybe. Somebody might say that. But- um, normality, like just, just generally speaking wise, most people don't give a fuck about you. Most people are just going to walk by you. Most people are just going to let you do what you got to do. Most people have their own shit going on. It's just the people that have nothing going on that may say something to you, but because you're on the internet and you're very particularly making content about this particular subject on the internet, you cannot complain like, Oh, people make fun of me for being fat. Yeah. 
Duh. Like, that'd be like a guy that only has content about being a truck driver, and then he gets made of, made fun of because he's a truck driver. Yeah, duh. That's his entire content stream. And he's complaining, oh, I don't know why people are making fun of my truck driving-ness. Like, I, it's so bad, you know? Like, I just picked up 15 lot lizards, and I got chlamydia from having sex with three of them, and I paid them $14 each. Like, you understand? Like, it's just weird. Of course you're going to get made fun of for that. You're on the internet and you're making this fucking content. What else? What are, you, what are you expecting? Yeah, duh. It's crazy because the amount of hate that I receive for being a fat person, like, if you guys saw, like, the shit people said to me on the internet, you would be flabbergasted. Like I wouldn't, bro. I wouldn't, bro. I've had people say some crazy shit to me. I know that on the internet, people are just disgusting no matter what. Don't get me wrong. You're amazing. You're fantastic. You smell great. But there's a lot of people out there that don't really have much going on, and they just find a lot of value in talking shit, which inherently is not a bad thing because I like talking shit sometimes too. I'll get down in the mud with you. I have no problem with that. But a lot of people don't find value in that, and that's okay. But for people like this, I'm not saying it's a good thing, but it's like what you're doing is you're, you're poking the hornet's nest of people, right? And you're expecting these people to assume better judgment. That's not something that you're going to be afforded, especially if you're on the internet. If you're sitting here and you think that it's practical for other people to treat you better because you feel bad, that's dumb. You should just be hardening your skin as much as possible because if you're going to do stuff like this, you have to. Otherwise, you're going to make videos like this and look dumb by complaining that you're getting bad, compliment, bad, bad, bad comments. I get it. I do. I understand. I've gotten bad comments too, but you need to have thicker skin than this. <laughs> you know, no pun intended here. If you guys saw, like, the shit people said to me on the internet, you would be flabbergasted. Like, this is not just, like, a quirky, oh, you know, like, it's really hard being fat. No, it's like, in your developmental stages, you are constantly thinking about your body and, like, feeling absolutely worthless to the point where, like, you feel dehumanized. I don't know, that shit, it just, it messes you up, you know? And, like... It's not unique to just her. Maybe she had some very particular things that were going on at her age when she was growing up right like obviously if you're going through your de developmental stages which i'm guessing are probably the ages of 10 to like 18 right those are like the main years where people start really recognizing problems and those are the years that primarily form you as a human being by the time you're 16 there's that's really just you like you can maybe change things incrementally as you get older past 16 years old but by the time you're 16 that's pretty much who you are for the rest of your life right <clears throat> now obviously you can become more mature i'm not saying you can't but i'm saying like that's pretty much you now, when you're these ages, of course, she's going to be going through issues that are predominantly around being overweight. I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to disagree with that. I've went through issues around that age with being musty, being greased up, thinking that, you know, I didn't know I had no value or maybe just, you know, you're ugly. There are a whole bunch of things, right? But as you get older, you, you start to realize that there's more to you and you start realizing like where your value really lies, right? And that's what's great about growing up is that you can you can actually recognize this stuff, right? Know where you are, know who how people perceive you, how to dis how to how to amplify the things that you can't amplify the most. And what really sucks about people like this, right, is that I hear a lot that they go, Oh, I had to deal with all these problems while growing up. And yet, as an adult, they still haven't dealt with these problems, and they're still complaining about the issues. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I get it if you're 10, between 10 and 20. Like, I get it. Like, if people go through problems, they may not know how to solve those problems. I understand that. But if you're 22, 23, 24, 30, how the fuck are you 30, and you're still having the same problems that you were when you were 16 or younger? How, how, how have you not tried to solve these issues at all? Instead, you think it's a good idea to go on the internet and complain that you're being mistreated. Like, I get it. I do. It's very easy to complain. But sometimes it's not helpful. Like, you need to, if you are going to complain, do it to somebody that's going to be more generous, right? Because the internet is just not the place for that. Um, anyway. Like, I'm dealing with it. Like, it's, I'm fine. And it's not, like. You're obviously not fine. You're complaining about it. So let's, let's be honest. Be fair. You know, I think that experience is very different for everybody else. And I think, obviously, this, like, it, this definitely varies person to person. But, like. I don't think that y'all, like, can fully grasp the legitimate, like, trauma that comes with being a fat person in the world. Like, I just, I don't think that y'all... You don't have to be a fat person in the world. And I understand that that's not really, like, solving your problem. Like, your problem is you have to deal with the issues of being fat. And you think that regardless of whether or not you can change being fat you shouldn't have to deal with the consequences of being fat like i get it i do i understand that 
And I don't, I think people should be kind. I think people should be this, but I'm also realistic. I'm not going to expect people to be nice. I'm not going to expect people to cater to me. I'm not going to expect people to be nice to me because that's how the world, that's how the world is. Now I see oftentimes people in today's world, and I, maybe this is something that's been going on for a long time, but people tend to externalize all their problems in this sense, for instance, instead of looking inward and going, I'm being mistreated and I've been mistreated for potentially my entire life at this point, right? Every day of my life, I'm being constantly critiqued by people about my weight and it's their fault. Instead of saying that, why don't you instead go, what can I do to to avail my position currently. What elixir can I take that will alleviate all of my symptoms currently, right? Because it's way easier to solve your own problem than it is to have somebody else that comes in and solves your problem that may or may not even exist because these people tend to throw all of their issues on society or maybe people, phantom people, by the way, on the internet, which is never going to happen, by the way. It's never going to solve your problems. And it's, it's, it's very easy to do this, by the way. It's very easy to look at other people or other, other organizations and go, this is the issue. It's not. It's too easy for you guys to do that shit. It's the equivalent of, of, of people that have major money issues. And then when they ask, hey, how do I solve these problems? You reply with, you need to go to school. You need to you need to get a degree. Then after you get the degree, then you can you could apply for these particular positions. They probably won't pay you at first, but it's okay. It'll get you in the door. And then once you work there for a year and a half with no pay, then eventually you'll get minimum wage. You know what I'm talking about? Like there's a plan in place, but this guy is literally sitting there listening to you say that while he's like hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. He has two kids. His house is literally about to be foreclosed. His wife is about to fucking divorce him and you're telling him to go to school. Like fucking good luck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want me to fucking do at that point, dude? Like you're not actually doing anything. It's all you're doing is just telling him that there's a solution, but he can't do anything about it. He needs an actual solution instead of just sitting there and telling people, oh, I'm being bullied. I'm, I, I have all these problems that are happening to me. And these are the people that are responsible for it. I understand these people exist and they say this stuff. You need to look inward and see if there's anything that you can do to solve your own problem rather than looking outward and then expecting other people to do it for you. Fully get it. Nobody is meant to deal with that like level of consistent criticism and hatred. It's not like, ooh, like, woe is me. My life is so hard. Like, sob story. It's just like, I, I'm not saying this like to ask for sympathy by any means i'm just saying this because like i just gen but you're doing it to ask for attention i mean i understand that you're doing this to like raise awareness as well but the attention is also something as a byproduct of that right let's be honest here for a second it's fine it's okay i talk about my penis obviously that means that i want attention to my penis right it's okay just acknowledge it it's all right I genuinely don't think people understand the mental toll that it takes and it's really funny because if you're if you're gonna say <laughs> I care about some people's health. Like the only reason I'm commenting on their body is because I care about their health. Like that's not true. You don't. You're virtue signaling and you're using this idea of health to give you a reason to be cruel to fat people. That's She's not wrong. She's not wrong. This is a true statement. I will give her that. If somebody does say that, like, hey, I'm commenting this particular piece of information. If I said like, oh, you know, you're, you're significantly overweight and this is definitely detrimental to your health and a really good solution to this problem would be to lose weight. She's, and then that person goes, well, you're actually hurting me by saying this shit. And you go, no, I'm not because I'm, I care about your health. That is technically virtue signaling, but it's a very disingenuous version of, vir of virtue signaling. Like a real good version of, of virtue signaling would be like, oh, um, I think that people should be more kind. Like people are really, really mean. And then that person goes, oh, well, I'm never mean. Like I would never be mean. You know, I'm not capable of being mean. I think that obviously people should be nice and all this other stuff. And it's like, that's not actually solving anything. You're not actually doing anything. All you're doing is like pumping yourself up. If somebody's initial point was to say you're unhealthy and that you're overweight and losing weight should be beneficial to you. And you consider that to be virtue signaling because they're not caring about your mental health. I get it. I get it. I really do. But you also have to understand, like, even though you're suffering from mental health problems due to the fact that somebody is commenting that stuff, don't you understand that that's like an Ouroboros, right? 
It's a snake eating its own tail. It's literally, I am being traumatized and suffering de from depression because somebody is telling me that my weight is an issue, even though my weight is an issue. But you telling me that my weight is an issue is making it a problem. But if you don't tell me that my weight is an issue, it's a problem regardless because my weight is an issue and I'm not doing anything about it. So it's like literally a snake eating its own tail. You're consistently over and over and over again because there's no winning. It's either I tell you and you do nothing, or I don't tell you, and you don't do anything anyway. So it's the same shit. I might as well just tell you at that point, because you're not going to do anything regardless. At least if I tell you, I don't feel bad when I watch your content and go, oh my God, this woman is like 450 fucking pounds, and she consistently complains about the same shit over and over and over again. I might as well tell you at that point. That's, just, that's literally what, if you actually cared about fat people's health, like mental health is also a factor. I agree. Mental health is a big factor, but you're ignoring that you are literally suffering physically speaking as well. So do you want people to just ignore physically speaking your health? That's kind of dumb, isn't it? Like I should only be caring about your mental health. Look, let's be honest here for a second. Being on the internet, you should be very, very secure in your mental health. If you're going to be making content, that is. If you're just somebody that consumes content or you're somebody that just like plays video games or whatever the hell, that's fine. You could totally be um not so durable in the in the in the mentally speaking department that's okay but you probably should um being on the internet in the content creation field you need to be very very secure in that because otherwise anything like somebody commenting on your shit and telling you that you look like a humpback seagull or you smell like i don't know like a grandma armor looking bitch then probably um that's gonna affect you right you're gonna you're gonna look at that and you're it's gonna make you're gonna make major changes based off this pieces of information that's not good, right? You should not be changing who you are because somebody said something mean to you on the internet. You should be secure in yourself. Now, I do agree that mental health is very, very important, but you're also ignoring your physical health. That's, is that not also important? Important? Like, why are you putting one above the other? And by the way, I don't, I, I fundamentally disagree with this woman. I think even if she did say the other thing, like, oh yeah, physical health is important, right? Physical health is important. It almost doesn't matter because even if it was the, the other case, she would say the other thing. Like she has, you know what I'm saying? Like even if, oh yeah, physical health is very important, but mental health is very important. Oh yeah, mental health is very important, but physical health is also very important. Like I feel like it would just be a never-ending loop for her. Like anytime you call her out on one thing, she would just she would just say the, the other thing. In that, and a lot of the time, let's say if that person can't take care of themselves. And I really love when, like, I love when these people will sit there and then proclaim that being fat is not a, a real medical issue, right? When obviously it is. And it's like really, really bad for you. And then apply makeup. Like, I mean, and, and like skincare and stuff like that. Like, why do you care so much about your skincare yet you don't care anything about your physical body? Like, I just, I never, I never understood that. I just, I just, to me, it doesn't make any sense at all. That'd be like a guy caring so much about the rims of his car when the car itself is like missing in the engine block like the catalyst converter got robbed by a couple of mexican guys like three days ago like the paint is fucking falling off the check engine lights going you know anytime you turn the car on it goes choo -choo -choo -choo, right that's like it's just it, it to me it just like makes it makes me upset because like i don't understand how you put so much value here but the other places of your life are just so neglected <laughs> it's like painting a house like your house is literally curved over like the house from uh, the big fish. You ever see the big fish with Ewan McGregor? It's like the house is like leaned over and it's like missing shit. Like the windows are gone and the house is like literally burnt down on one side. And you're going, we need the red paint. Let's paint the house. Let's paint the house. Why are you painting the house? The house is fucking condemned. Fucking demolish it and rebuild it. I, I promise you, if their mental health isn't good, they're not gonna be healthy they're not gonna lose weight. Should, look if you have mental health issues you should not be making content on the internet that should be number one i understand that sometimes maybe people's mental healths are ambiguous and some people have a little bit more mental fortitude than others objectively though if you have an issue like this and it's due to your mental health you should not be on the internet creating content that's just what it is in my opinion wait they're not gonna do any things that you want them to do so I don't know. Definitely not. The like, like, she should realize this and go, okay, I can't handle this. Like, obviously, I thought I could, but I can't. That should be your cue to step away. Best person to talk about this topic. Because, like, I'm still figuring out what that means for myself. And, Leave. like, just get you off know, the internet. I, I still don't really fully understand how it impacts my life. But, like, like, it's just, it's more than hurt feeling. The way people are treated matters. It impacts them. It impacts the way they live their life. It, it impacts their relationship with the world. I agree, bro. The way you communicate with people and the way that you're treating people is definitely really, really valuable. But that shouldn't ignore the fact that some people need to tell you some things that are uneasy truths. And I get 
that maybe words can be received in different ways and how you tell people those words can be make or break. I agree. But what you're basically saying is you shouldn't be talking about my health because if you talk about my health, that makes my mental health really bad. And your mental health is already bad given the fact that you can't handle simple criticisms about your weight when that is literally the prominent the prominent stuff you put on your TikTok. So if that is the case, we can't talk to you about anything then. You're literally making it impossible for people to say anything about you. Because if they talk about your mental health, you're just going to probably roll back, be like, oh yeah, I am mentally ill. So I can't talk about your mental health. But if I talk about your physical health, you're just going to roll back on the mental health. So it's like, I, there's nothing I can do. You, I might as well just say whatever I have to say then at that point. A lifetime of persistent and constant cruelty is going... You're, you know, the, the claim of virtue signaling earlier is really interesting when you're literally just victimizing yourself for the entire video. I I just, I don't know. It's just interesting. To have an impact on a person and you cannot claim to care about people if you are someone that is going to contribute to that. If somebody in your life, let's say, for instance, your mom tells you that you're overweight and that's not good and you proclaim that that is not helping your overall health because your mental health is now being threatened by that. You're not an adult. You're you're literally a child at that point. You can't handle common truths. You can't handle simple truths. You're not eligible to receive information in a uh, e even coming from your mom or anything like that. Would you consider the same thing from like a doctor? Does it have to be just comments or like you're not being very specific here? Does it have to be comments? Is it? It's very ambiguous. I don't know what you're talking about exactly. This is one of my least favorite responses. I genuinely want to know what y'all think the internet consists of. It's not a nice place. Stay off it or you're feeling... Dude, man, dude. This person right here has been reading my mind, dude. Dude, jbay224, this is what I've been saying, bro. If you're on the internet and you can't handle the, the criticisms, if you can't handle the heat, dude, stay out the kitchen. Simple as that. And it may be easier for certain people and it may be harder for other people. Um, but it just comes down to that, dude. If you can't handle it, like when I when I watch people like Marissa Matthews and I watch people that are like so adamant about replying to every comment, people that like can't not reply to comments and look at every single bad thing and ignore everything good. And even when they see something good, maybe they call it out. You can't handle the internet. And that's all right. There are people in the world that can't handle credit cards, for instance, right? There are people that get credit cards and they see their credit card and they go, this money that the credit card company gave me, which is $5,000 or $10,000, this is not the credit card's money. This is my money. That person views the credit card's money as theirs. That's not a person that can have a credit card, right? Because they're going to use it and they're going to abuse it and they're never going to pay it back. And it's going to go to collections and they're going to be forever in debt. That's the same thing as people here. If you're not somebody that can handle the internet, that's all right. You don't have to be on the internet in this particular format. It is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? It's fine that you can't handle it in this particular genre. Don't look at it like that. It's fine. Um, but just acknowledge it. So when I see somebody like Victoria that complains about the shit daily and the fact that she always gets these comments, you can't handle it on the internet. That's all right. I don't know why you're trying so hard to stay on it, though. When I say how badly fat people are treated on the internet, I get a response like, This is really interesting. Uh, okay, let's just... What did you expect? It was the internet. That's your True. fault. Like You're the one putting it out there. Like, And it's just like, I hate that rhetoric because it's like, is it not your choice to be a bad person? You can't. Oh, my God. Ah, I hate this point so bad, dude, because it literally is the point that I was making. Or you're externalizing all of your problems. Don't you understand that? If you're if you're putting stuff on the Internet, OK, your person a putting content out on the Internet, your claim is. Don't be a bad person on the Internet. But when you put when you are content person a putting that content out, people determine what you're putting on the Internet as bad content. Right. So when you say don't be a bad person, people are looking at you going, you're a bad person. Don't you see that? Don't you see that? So if your claim is don't be a bad person, don't you understand that you are also the bad person? Nobody. When you say don't be a bad person, you are the bad person. Don't you understand that? And you, you can't expect other people to make your life easier in a realm of people that are not trying to make your life easier. You are, why would you ever try to externalize your own feelings? You are the person that are, you are the person, the only person that can regulate your own emotions. Why are you trying to put it on other people? Why would you ever do that? Wow, when have you ever done that ever? That'd be like going up to a random person in the street and giving them their credit, giving them your credit card and going, I hope you make the right decision. 
Why would you? It never works anywhere. Why would you do it on the internet? Why would you expect random people to treat you nice? Okay. Again, you can't handle the internet. You just can't. It's I. Just say that. And it's just like, I hate that rhetoric because it's like, is it not your choice to be a bad person? Like, is it not your choice to be cruel? You act as if people are inherently bad, and I just don't think that's the case. It's not that people think you're inherently bad. It's just the content that you're putting out is gonna is going to, you're gonna be experiencing certain things as a, as a consequence of that, and you're deeming this as hate and cruelty and other stuff when other people may not. And because of that, you are putting yourself in that bracket. Like you are bestowing it upon yourself. Can we not hope for better? Can I not, can I not hope that people will decide to be kinder and better? You can hope, but that's, hope is fine. But if you're not, if you play the same hand over and over and over again and it loses consistently, maybe it's just a bad hand and maybe pick up another, maybe redraw a hand, I don't know. I hope that human beings are capable of change and like capable of actually becoming kinder, more empathetic and like- It's just interesting because like, it's so much projection because she's deeming what she's doing as good, but she's deeming when other people say, hey, your health is at risk when you're fat as bad, when other people are deeming what she does as bad and what they do as good. You understand? Like it's so, it's so weird seeing somebody that literally cannot look in the mirror when they say this shit, dude. It's so, it's so, it's so interesting, bro. Because this person is literally projecting out the wazoo, dude. It's insane. Treating people well. Like, yes, it's the internet. People are mean. I'm very aware of that. Like, that doesn't mean that it's right. It doesn't mean that we should- It's not about being right, though. Like, it's not about- I, I just- I don't know, man. This is such a bullshit point, dude. Like, if- Nobody's complaint. Nobody thinks that- <sighs> Nobody- thinks that treating other people badly is good okay like that's fucking obvious dude like if you wanted to have an argument about that everybody's gonna be on your side that's like somebody saying i think i'm gonna take the wild stance here i'm gonna say it i think firefighters are good do you think anybody's gonna disagree with you on that like sure there might be that odd person sure but like this is that same thing like oh i just want people to be i just want people to be good people is that such a hard no Everybody agrees, literally everybody, but that's not the point. That's not the point. What the point is, you're in an environment that's toxic and you're expecting the toxic environment to treat you better because you feel bad. Who are you? Why do you think that? Why, who are you? Like, why do you? It's just a dumb, it's just a dumb point. It's just a stupid point. Just a stupid try and change that. Just because people are mean doesn't mean I should not hope that they decide to be nice. Yeah, but you're gambling. Like, not only are you gambling, but you're like a one person playing the lottery against seven. How many? What's the population? Eight billion people. You're one person playing the lottery against eight billion people. And you do that every single time you post a video expecting to win. Or th that's dumb. That is literally stupid. That is like dumb beyond belief. Why would you ever do that? That's just ignorant. Dumbness. Fully on display, Victoria. Jesus. That is actually insane. Mental deficiency type shit. Get off the internet. Literally. Get off the internet. You cannot handle it. It's not possible for you. And like, when I post on the internet, I'm not consenting to be harassed. It's not- Oh! Oh! You think anybody's doing that? What are you- What are you talking about right now, Victoria? What the fuck are you saying right now, bro? That's like saying, when I walk outside, I'm not consenting- I'm not consenting to somebody talking to me. Like you do know that that's not that that's not the point. It's the internet, okay? If you're on a platform that tells people to comment on other people's stuff and you have your comments on, naturally there are going to be people saying stuff. So why the fuck would you expect All right, bro. You know what, man? Let's just keep going. I, I, this woman's making this is these are some of the most stupid points I've heard in like months. I cannot believe because I thought Victoria was like relatively smart, but these are very stupid points. Very stupid points, dude. I hope that they decide to be nice. And like when I post on the internet, I'm not. And she's projecting so heavily because she did. She she's deducing that this particular comment, for instance, is mean. When in reality, this is a very nice comment. This person is actually being helpful, but she's determining it as a mean thing. So even though she's saying like, oh, I just want the world to be better. I want the world to be nice. She is literally the bad. 
in that world that she wants to be good. But she doesn't determine that to be good because in her ideology, she determines it to be bad, if that makes any sense. Like, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild the way she thinks about this. Consenting to be harassed or, like, bullied, essentially, by other grown adults. I, don't, I, I really, okay, I don't, I don't, I just really hate it when people point out random facts about stuff that have absolutely no relevance to it. Why are you pointing out random adults as if that's going to do anything at all? You could you could just say random people, but instead you said random adults to specify that these are people that are grown-ups that should have more awareness, that should be more responsible, and they should make better decisions. That's why she's saying adults. But it's a dumb point because it's the internet, so nobody's going to make proper decisions. Okay. Whatever, dude. Consenting to be harassed or, like, bullied, essentially, by other grown adults. I'm putting my content out there for, like, my followers. Especially don't consent. When, when you put out your content on the internet and you put it out on a public platform and you say, I'm doing this for my followers, you are doing this for your followers, but you're also doing it for the, everybody else on the internet. You have to acknowledge that. And then there are the, there are the people that disagree with you that are also going to watch your content people take my videos and put it to a different platform that i have no control over. that's normalized yeah doesn't make it right it's not about man this woman dude is on some different shit bro who are you to determine what is right and what is not that is such a crazy ass thing to say bro uh again it's not about what's right it's not about what's wrong it's about what's there okay it's if it's there people are gonna do it dude i'm of the belief that people are able to choose whether or not they're good and kind people and just because that's just how it is doesn't mean we should stop working to make the internet a better kind of- It's like you don't know what is and what is not the internet being a kind of better place. How do you know that this particular type of discourse isn't a better internet? You're just determining to be a bad internet because the comments are meanly centered towards you in your frame of reference. But it honestly is not in comparison to like how I think about it or how other people might think about it. So- I get what you're saying, but it's dumb. It's just like you're you're projecting all of your shit onto the internet. Expect like I see this phenomenon in dating a lot where people will think I want this, right? So for instance, I meet women that say I want a guy that and make six figures. I want a guy that drives this particular car. I want a guy that graduated from this particular school. I want a guy that has these particular traits. So naturally, that guy that I want also must want all the traits that I want on me. So they pursue things like that. So they get six-figure jobs. So they get that car. So they get that degree. When in reality, you're not dating yourself. You're dating someone else. So when you say, I want, I just want the internet to be a better place and your idea of a better place is wild compared to most people's definitions of the better place. You're projecting what you determine to be a better place when other people don't think that same way. You understand? Oh man. It's, it's like what I'm hearing here is like, it's too much. It's too much. Not me. And it's too much not me and everybody else and not enough what can I do to change my circumstances. And just because that's just how it is doesn't mean we should stop working to make the internet a better, kinder place. It would be better for everyone if we weren't as cruel and weren't as quick to judge. I'm so tired of this like pessimistic worldview where everyone just like sucks. It's not a man, dude. Oh my God. You, you remember a few months ago when that one girl made that response video on me and she said that I was wrong because... I'm a basic, that's just the way it is, bitch. And she was upset that I was following the rules set in place by the laws of our reality and that she was upset that <laughs> that I didn't apply like forbidden technology logic or like how things should be or something like that. It's just like things could be better. Things can always be better. Things can always improve. Nobody's making these arguments that things can't improve, right? Nobody, literally nobody. So it's such, it's such a useless point. But the point, I'm, the point usually what these people are making is, why are you applying your logic to a fallacy? Why are you applying your logic to the way things should be instead of applying the logic to the way that they, it is right now? It's such a fucking dumb worldview to, to model the way you live your life off of how things ought to be instead of how things are. That's dumb. That's stupid. That doesn't make sense. Why would you, all right, dude, it's just like this woman's just making really bad points and she's saying it with so much confidence as if like they do whatever, dude, 
Whatever, man. I thought Victoria was... I thought she was smart. But these are all stupid points. Literally, just be nice to people. Yeah, true. I don't think y'all understand the mental toll of being dogpiled on by the entire internet. I don't think you understand the mental toll of being a fat person on the internet with a large audience. I don't think you guys understand what it's like to have hundreds, if not thousands of millions of people hating you. Like, I don't think you guys can like comprehend what that is like, right? So you can have your opinions on whoever have your opinions of, but I need you all to like understand that the human mind is not meant to withstand the amount of hatred that can be pushed onto one single individual person. She's right about this. Okay, like if you've been on the internet for any extended period of time, if you have an audience size of a decent amount and suddenly something happens or maybe get canceled or maybe in her case, just people that wildly disagree with whatever the fuck she's saying because she does say a, a lot of wild shit. Um, it is very difficult for most people to understand the amount of hate, criticism and other stuff that like if you get thousands of comments or thousands of people or hundreds of people that just tell you you're disgusting, you're gross and things such as so forth. It is very, very, very jarring to see that information. The problem I see, though, is that should not be a deterrent for people to not get pushback on things that they say because they may or may not like it. Like, it, to me, if you're saying things like black people are, you know, black people have too much melanin and that's gross and you get pushback on that, but then you come back with, you guys shouldn't be saying mean things to me because mentally I can't handle it. I get it. I do. I understand. Like, it's it's probably very, very tough to have that hundreds, if not thousands, or whatever she said, millions, which is crazy. But uh, of people saying that stuff, I understand it. But what is the alternative? You said something crazy, dude. Like, it, again, if you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen, dude. It's not for you. It's not for you. It's not for you. Stop putting yourself in a position that you can't handle. Why? It just comes back to this woman countless times. Get off the internet. You can't handle it now on the internet like i the human mind is genuinely not meant to consume that much hatred about oneself I, it just really isn't so my rule of thumb normally is when a situation is happening before i contribute to dogpiling onto a person and saying things that have already been said uh i think about first of all is that person in a place to be able to understand what i'm saying to them it's, it, it's such a dumb point to be like oh before i say something mean to this person or if i say even if it's not mean before i say anything to this person i need to consider their mental headspace i need to consider the whole act the, the whole in the entire like substructure of their mental their mind like generally speaking before i write this comment or say anything about them in general nobody's doing that nobody nobody's fucking doing that shit nobody's reading your wikipedia page about your mental status before they they write something about you that's crazy nobody's doing that shit victoria that's a crazy ass point to be able to take what i'm saying constructively or is this going to cause more harm than good also like what are again you're just like you're putting so much value on what other people should do and you're just like not talking about things that you should do it's just too easy for you. It's too easy for you to look at what other people should do and never what you should do. Or the, what is the context of what is going on? Like, what is the mental state of this person? Like, why? What's going on? Like, I just, oh, like, I, uh. I have been attacked by ED Twitter, by Taylor Swift stands, by, you know, anti-fat liberation people on YouTube, libs of TikTok stands. Like, I have experienced dogpiling in a way that many people have not. Um, and I truly would not wish that experience on my worst enemy I, I don't think like i there are very few people who i think deserve to be treated in that way i think there are very few actions i understand that it could be very disconcerting very jarring whatever word you want to use this particular type of dog piling that she's experiencing you you're putting yourself in that scenario you know that right like you're making content for the internet. And I understand that you think that you don't deserve that particular type of stuff. And whether or not I agree or disagree to that is irrelevant because you have to understand that the content that you're making is not going to be seen by a wide variety of people and think that it's good content. Like most people are going to disagree with that shit. So because of that information, when you make videos like that, instead of, instead of looking at what other people ought to do, you should instead go, you should be looking at it, right? Instead of, uh, Instead of wondering if other people are going to go, what is the mental state of this person? How are they going to determine this comment? How are they going to determine me making this reaction video? How are they going to do this? How are they going to do that? It should be instead, it should be you going, 
how are other people going to react to the video that I put out? That, that is the key. That is the, that's how you do it. Instead of looking how everybody else is going to do it, it should be how are, how do you think other people are going to do it? You understand? Because in that scenario, you're in charge of how you put that video out, how you want other people to see that video. You understand? It should be up to you rather than making a piece of content and throwing it out to the internet and expecting people to be nice. That doesn't make sense. But what I said does. Um, that deserve that type of treatment to be treated in that way. I think there are very few actions um, that deserve that type of treatment. And um, I don't know, I guess maybe I have too much grace. Um, no, you, that's, look, dude. Don't virtue signal, dude. Don't virtue signal. Maybe I have too much grace. Come on. And um, I don't know, I guess maybe I have too much grace. Um, but as someone who has firsthand experienced the toll that it can take on someone, um, all I'm going to say is maybe just, I don't know, be considerate of that. I just wish that she would, um, I just wish that she would actually work on herself <laughs> or just get off the internet for like four months and see if that helps. I don't know, dude. There's just so much stuff with these people and I'm sick of people making these like externalizing claims, dude. It seems to be a big problem right now. I don't know. Like. It, maybe it's just on my brain and I keep like saying it, but like I see it too many times nowadays where people just make up these issues and instead of like looking inward and solving them themselves, which is very easy, by the way, they instead like look at other people because like think about this. If you're sitting here and you're blaming it on everybody else and how they should react and how they should conduct themselves around everybody else and you're going, it's just really hard for me to admit that. It's like really hard for me to acknowledge how other people, like I have to live my life based off of how other people treat me. And you're going, that's a very hard thing to recognize. No, it's not. You're weak. That's a very weak thing to recognize because you're literally putting your own responsibility on everybody else. That's weak. That's, that's really weak. The hard point would be, what can I do to improve my situation around the internet? What do I do? How do I solve my problem? That's really hard. That's exceptionally hard. It's not hard to put your problems on somebody else. That's easy. But these people will sit there and say that it's hard. It's not. It's very easy. But they're not looking at the other side. It doesn't matter, though. Regardless, you're an amazing person. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you uh, enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. If you do any of that stuff, it uh, helps me grow in the algorithm. So if you could do that stuff, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you want to, um, you can hit the membership button, or if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I want to thank everybody that is a membership. We do live streams on this channel. I might be live right now when you're watching this video, usually around 6 p.m. EST. So if you see me around that time frame, uh, you might see the live icon above my name. We stream for a few hours every, not every day, but usually between the times of Tuesday through Sunday. So anytime between there, you see me streaming, just hop in, have a chat with me. Let's talk about whatever you want to talk about, your feelings or whatever you want to talk about. doesn't matter. I'm here for you. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in bombshell because I have some bombshell right here from Victoria's Secret. Bombshell, you're a bombshell. You're a beautiful bombshell, a beautiful explosion of amazingness and personality and somebody that can take and understand that not everything is somebody else's problem and it's <laughs> something that you can actually do to improve your circumstance and that's beautiful. I love that you're able to look inward and do things to improve your situation and make yourself stronger and be better for other people. That is amazing. I love that you drink so much lubrication in your mouth, all that water. It feels so good going down your throat. It tastes good. You're good. You're an amazing person. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. If you wanna check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. It'll be linked all below in the description of this video and the description of the channel. All you have to do is click the about and it will show up and you can follow me all over those places. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day.